Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the quest Beneath Still Waters. That can be picked up at the community notice board here in Under Juno. So, back to the bar. To the tavern. Beneath Still Waters, the client is Midgar 7th Infantry. Location, Junon, Crater Cape. Be advised, a fearsome fiend is presently contained within Crater Cape. Civilians are strongly encouraged to avoid this area until the threat has been addressed. Active duty and retired military are requested to render assistance. I'll take the job. The old 7th. Time to meet up with them once more. So, let's take a look at our map. Crater Cape is down here, and we'll fast travel to this excavation site. Okay, and uh, I want to go this way. It's really you! 7th Infantry, right? It's good to see you again, Captain. You here to offer support? Something like that. Sidrep? Sir, we managed to contain a dangerous fiend in the sector up ahead. But said fiend proved more formidable than expected. So we were awaiting reinforcements. And imagine our surprise when you showed up. The target seems to have settled down, but there's no telling when it'll act up again. Now's the perfect time to take the thing out. Suppose we ought to lend him a hand, huh? Lend the troopers a hand? Of course. All right, Captain, follow us. Hi, right, Chocobo's like, I want to come. You got to stay back, Chocobo. This isn't for you, Belle. We got a Hell Rider 2. Let's get an assess on it. Allow me. I'm about to get clubbed in the face. Uh, Hell Rider 2, an artificial monstrosity created by Shinra's R&D division as part of horrific experiments meant to combine man and beast. It was being held in the underwater reactor's research facility, but managed to escape. Inflicting enough damage by exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it its weakness. <laughs> I did actually Don't manage to avoid that. Right. Barrett, let's give you bonus. Got just yeah. You know, we could do lifesaver on Barrett. Yeah. Lifesaver for Barrett. Give him hell. Red Come on. Not cool. <laughs> Alright, Claude, you're back up. Let's do an ATB boost and I'll pray. Focus. Take the lead. Alright, does anybody have ice? Barret's got raise and barrier. Oh jeez, I didn't realize Barret's at 7,630 HP. Jeez. Right. Actually, Red might have ice. Nope, he's got fire. Oh well. We don't need to explain the weakness. Just beat him up with damage. Oh, I can't counter that apparently. I thought I could. Alright, do we have a synergy ability available? We do, but it's just reunited refocus, that's lame. 
Let's get red some. Alright, red, go with the crescent claw. Alright, synergy ability we want. So oh, do we want Savage Assault or Overfang? Let's go Overfang. Bob is ready to hit the stagger. With infinity's end. Stop that feed. It could kill countless civilians. That a chocobo could track its scent. You're on it? Yeah. Good. We'll return to Junon. The garrison needs to be informed about the situation. That thing's vicious. Give it the chance, and it'll rip your heads clean off. So make sure you beat it to the punch. We'll link back up with you once we finish our report. Till then, Captain! Have your chocobo sent the area. Alright, Bell, you do get to be involved. Alright, follow the scent trail. It's going. He kind of wrapped around this way. Kept going down the trail. And then he headed towards the water. Let's think and swim. Well, I guess it did come from an underground reactor, right? Had to get out somehow, although I could have taken the elevator. But that would have put him in the Junon, so... Probably not how he got out. Alright, there he is. See you up to. The enemy is in pursue Hellrider 2. All right, he's got friends apparently. Let's take out this Stormwing ASAP. Oh, I missed that Draper. Let's do a bonus round. Uh, maximum Fury should work. Huh, Barret's not doing much damage. Hey, right, Cloud, see if you can do better. I don't know if Cloud's doing much better. Braver! Oh, big hit there. Alright, there we go. We got rid of him. Cloud's taking a bit of damage. Let's have. Barret do a lifesaver. Red vengeance mode. All right, dodge that. I pressured him. Uh, let's have Barrett finish off that pressure. Oh, a little slow. It's okay though. Take him down. Say your prayer. Don't stop till it's done. 
Alright, we need our chocobo again. Hi, Bell. Okay, it ran up there. We're gonna have to take the stairs over here. Oh, got buried treasure over here. May as well get it. Five Moogle medals. Well, we certainly don't need them, but I'll take them. Okay, let's see. He went through this archway. Around the bend and up. Right, and he kept going up. Oh, we lost the trail. Kept going up. And up again. And we lost the trail again. Normally the scent holds longer. Here, we lost our scent again. Man, we really scared him. He ran like two miles away. He'd had enough. All right, we do have some enemies in the way. Let's take care of them. On you. Yeah. Wow, that fleet wing just got destroyed and destroyed the other one. You got this. My turn. Oh, luck up, Materia and Pooh. Alright, we make quick work of them. Where's my bird? Up we go. Oh wow, I just realized my my main mission is 10,420 meters away. <laughs> That's a ways. All right, where's the scent? The scent goes up the stairs. All right, he's using gravity well and he's gone uh He's gotten the shell up. I don't actually know if I have a dispel. I probably should have done that beforehand, but oh well. Luckily he used shell and my team's like all physical, but if he puts up a barrier, that's gonna suck. Guess it's my turn. If he does put up a barrier though, I guess red has fire, so we have that. Let's do bonus round. <laughs> Oh, Barret just got stuck. Don't worry about it. Vengeance mode. Let's fight. And actually, since we have vengeance mode, let's give the group hate. Supernal fervor. Go for it. I got you. Take the lead. Alright, let's have Barrett do a lifesaver. My turn. Oh no, you don't. Polarity shift. Oh no! Well, looks like you're up, Red. Red with the fire. I 
don't actually know if my spells are stronger in vengeance mode. I assume they're not. Let's do fire up. Let's do it like nothing. Weird. Um, uh, I guess we could do a synergy over Fang. Let's try to make this a massive stagger. Oh, and Cloud's limit break is almost ready too. Finish it, your mind. Bring in the heat. Fury. Red. Bat. Cloud, why isn't your limit break ready? It's basically there. I'm told that the target's been neutralized. Excellent work out there. Ma'am. <laughs> Something on your mind, trooper? Very well. Permission to speak granted. What's the 7th Infantry still doing out here? What's the 7th Infantry still doing out here? I figured you guys would have been shipped back to Midgar by now. Normally, I wouldn't answer that sort of question. But why not? The Brass ordered us to remain behind, following the ceremony. Anything else? What was with that fiend? That little Hellion back there was a bioweapon developed by R&D with the cooperation of advanced weaponry. They were keeping it in that underwater facility of theirs, but it managed to escape during a recent incident. Our investigations are ongoing, but we suspect the Shinra Resistance Committee was involved. You're familiar with their operations? Nope, not at all. <laughs> What exactly is the Shinra Resistance Committee? They may operate as independent cells, but it seems they communicate regularly. While united by their desire to take down Shinra, the how and why of it varies considerably between factions. Some see civilian casualties as acceptable collateral damage, or our fault. I've no doubt these extremists stick that monster on the city. Such scum deserve nothing less than to be trapped in a room full of tonberries. Can you brief me on the mission? Our orders were to neutralize the fleeing fiend and ensure the safety of the local populace. While we succeeded in locating the target and keeping it contained within an isolated area, it was too tough to take on. After we parted ways with you, we hurried back to Junon and called for additional reinforcements. But our calls went unanswered. There just aren't enough troopers to go around. That's bullshit. There's plenty of troopers. They just didn't want to help because they heard we were fraternizing with the enemy. Nothing. I have to admit I was worried the situation might have gotten completely out of hand. But you managed to bring it under control. You did good out there today. <laughs> I must say, in all my wildest dreams, I never thought I'd have a soldier in my ranks. One who keeps such unusual company at that. Suspected terrorists, a Utaya ninja, an escaped lab rat, and an ancient. At ease, we're heading home. I need to report today's events, how the 7th Infantry resolved the crisis on its own. So you're not gonna tell them about us? <laughs> no, but you best leave before I change my mind. Otherwise, I might just strap you to the back of a dragon. Assuming we all live long enough, there's a chance we may meet again someday. Though let's hope for your sakes that it isn't on the field of battle. We thank you for your support, Captain. Seventh Infantry, salute! At ease, troop. For good this time. All right, our quest is complete, and the seventh does know who we are, but they're being cool about it. So, we're friends.
Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and travel back to Under Junon because we have a new combat challenge available with Chadley. Although I guess we could just go to the to the ranch. Let's go there instead. And actually, since we're here, we might be able to get some new chocobo gear. We got everything you need to get your bird looking spiffy. Let's see. Yeah, we can get a Saurian helm and a Saurian armor, and I suspect I'm missing a chocobo stop somewhere to get that final plume. Because I keep I keep uh, getting one short, so I'm gonna have to figure out where that is. But anyways, um, let's see. I really like this armor, so let's pick that up. And then I don't like the greaves. I like the helmet, so we'll do that. So yeah, one more plume, and then we can get the greaves. There must be a chocobo stop somewhere. We're missing. So goodbye, bye for now. All right, where's Chadley again? He is over here. Thanks to your efforts, this area has been fully surveyed. And yet, this is only the beginning of our adventures together. I'm excited to see what knowledge awaits us elsewhere. All right, so we have Junon Region Intel Level 2. A series of three-person battles in which you pick your team, engage in simulated combat against a number of idiosyncratic fiends to better understand the diverse nature of our planet, and this will give Cleansing Materia rank 2. And I guess we'll just go Cloud, Barret, and Aerith. We got Fleet Wings and Velasa Wings to be able to destroy them pretty quick. Oh, we got these annoying enemies, the crystalline crabs. Maybe we can take them out before they get too defensive. They're not really doing anything. Weird, I remember them like walking constantly, but maybe I'm thinking of a different crab. Up, oh, no, no. Now they're blocking, but I hit him from behind! And he's dead. Wait, how's he blocking me from behind? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, we got an ogre and some wolves. Almost through the wolves. The wolves are taken care of. And the ogre's going down so shockingly long. fast. Oh, couldn't get out. Guess it's my turn. You got Okay. We got the comic relief. The capper wires are here. And they're done. Alright, so it's, uh, what is that, Leprechaun and, a uh, Conadu? Oh, I hit him on the way in. Got lucky with that. 
Let's do this. Alright, absolutely obliterated that. Oh, it's a zoo. And we got the stagger. Oh, we'll do overkill with the limit break. You're out of luck. Keep it up. This is now. Okay, that took a minute and 46 seconds. We got our rank two cleansing material. All right, so that's all of the combat challenges currently available. We still have four that are locked. Thanks to you, my archives are filling up with combat data. If there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. Okay, so with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.